Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, January 5th, 2024. I pray that today your day would be a glorious one. I pray that today your day will be filled with laughter, with joy, and with peace. Our reading today comes to us from Hebrews chapter 13, reading verses 1 to 9. It says, Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Verse 3, Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them, and them which are suffer adversity has been yourself also in the body verse 4 says marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled but warmongers and adulterers God will judge verse 5 let your conversation be without covetousness be content with such things as he have for he had said i will never leave thee nor forsake thee six so that we may boldly say the lord is my helper and i will not fear what men shall do unto me verse seven remember them which have the rule over you who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. Verse 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Nine and last, be not carried away with diverse and strange doctrines for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein and i say amen we give god thanks again for his holy word and let us be encouraged and let us be blessed as we meditate on his goodness and on his, his blessing. So here we are told that we should love each other. It says, let brotherly love continue. So you don't love today and tomorrow you don't love. But we should love each other at all times. It says that we must never forget to entertain strangers or be kind to strangers because you don't know when you might be entertaining or being kind to an angel. We should remember those that are in bondage. So we should remember those who are incarcerated. In ways that we can help them, we should. We should bring them the word. They still need grace. They still need salvation. And so we should introduce Jesus to them. It speaks about marriage. And this is a very interesting verse because we live in a world today that people take marriage for a joke. You look left, right. The families are just being tearing, ripping, just in shambles practically. People just make a mockery out of this institution. Satan is just ripping the family apart. And so it is important that we understand how serious of an issue this is. Because if the family structure is br broken down, then we will have problem within the community. Problem within the society and problem in the in the world so if you want 
to have a better society, we must ensure that the family structure is strong. And how can the, that remain strong? Only when we include God. We should bring our family before the altar each day. We should teach our children the right things. We should set good examples for our spouses, for our children. God should be evident in each life. Because, I tell you this, if we continue to tear down this institution, then God is going to judge us. He is going to hold us accountable for that. Make no mistake, God is not mock. Whatever we sow, we will reap. I guarantee you that. And so it continues to tell us that our conversation should be without covetousness. So when we speak about others, let's not speak about them, you know, like we are not happy for them. But we should be excited for their success. We should lift them up before God. And also in the same breath, we should learn to be content until God see fit to bless us further. Because as it says, he will never leave you and forsake you. That's God. That's the God that we serve. And so let us boldly declare that God is our helper and that we have no need to fear. We don't need to fear famine. We don't need to fear sickness. We don't need to fear death because the same God that gives life is the same God that can take it. And so if we are on the side of God, we don't need to fear anything. We just need to continue to trust him. Amen. So, may we remember that Christ doesn't change. So the same God that was there for you in 2023, 2022, 2021 and beyond is the same God that will take you further into 2024 as he see fit. So whatever your circumstance, whatever the situation may be, always remember put god first put your families before god put your businesses before god put your home before god put your careers before god put everything that is in your position before god and ask god to pour his blessing on it and on them because without god all of that is meaningless. And so I encourage you, continue to be strong in the Lord. Continue to be hopeful and continue to trust Him. God bless you.